We're here today with Ken Horton, CEO of Bizinex RFID, to talk about RFID in the healthcare space. Hi, Ken. Good afternoon. Please tell us how RFID is used in hospitals. RFID is used in hospitals in a very broad range of applications, and I'll talk about several of them. The first one that comes to mind is just the way RFID is used in many businesses. Common things like access control. Everybody has a badge that's RFID equipped. They use it to access areas of the hospital that they're entitled to have access to. Another way that many businesses use RFID is for financial management and accountability with regard to their physical assets. So when a financial manager wants to know where a high value asset is, RFID is a very good way of locating it and making sure that it's in the right place and being utilized in the right fashion. A lot of businesses use RFID for inventory management. Obviously in hospitals there are a lot of critical items, drugs, syringes, latex gloves, many items that the hospital can't afford to be out of in any given ward of the hospital. Oftentimes RFID is used to help them monitor their supplies and make sure that they're replenished in appropriate time frames. Another way that many businesses use RFID is loss prevention. Obviously in retail, you walk out with something you haven't purchased, an alarm goes off. Hospitals are using RFID in the same way in that they have portals set up between departments or at doors to make sure that valuable assets don't move from one department to another, either deliberately or inadvertently in a clinician's pocket, or that they don't walk out the door because an ambulance driver put something that he was using in his pocket and walks out the door with it. So those are common ways that RFID is used in many businesses that also applies in hospitals. Another thing that's a little more special about healthcare is they're using it to automate processes, something like sample processing, where you take a piece of tissue or a blood sample or something, you tag it with RFID, and it can automatically be recorded as it moves through the analytical process, either within the hospital or at a lab outside of the hospital. And that way you make sure that A, all the processes are, are performed and that its identity is retained throughout the process and you don't get Joe's results mixed up with Mary's. Another thing that is a fairly new application is automating the counting of items, for instance, in a surgical procedure. All of the instruments, all of the uh, sponges that are used during the procedure, it's very important that the, the number of items that were there when the patient was opened are also there when the patient is closed. You don't want the patient to take any of those things with him. RFID is being used to automate the counting process rather than having a nurse stand there and count the number of sponges that have been used in the procedure to make sure the right number are there, all while the patient is sitting open before the surgeon can close the operation. Another thing that's being done in hospitals is that there are a lot of critical processes that you want to make sure get done. One of the, the most obvious ones is that clinicians wash their hands. So stations are being set up at sinks to make sure that when a clinician washes their hands, they wave their badge, and it's actually recorded that they've washed their hands at the appropriate time. Actually, someone's coming out with a new device that cleans the soles of shoes and they're building RFID into the device to make sure that the clinicians have clean shoes when they enter the hospital. Another process that's being automated is administration of drugs. So the drugs can be tagged, the patients are often tagged, and the administration of the correct dose of a certain drug can automatically be registered using the RFID on both of those things. Another unique way that RFID is used in hospitals is real-time location, and that's used for two things. First, it's used for patients. Active RFID tags are being applied to patients, meaning an ankle bracelet or a wrist bracelet, and their location can be determined in real time. And for most patients, that's not a big problem, but for certain ailments such as Alzheimer's, patients can wander off, and it becomes obviously very critical to be able to find them quickly. Another real-time location application is critical devices. If I need an oxygen bottle, if I need a defibrillator, I have to be able to find it right away to ensure that a patient doesn't die. So it's very important. Tag those critical items with real-time location tags. At any given time, you can see exactly where they are within the hospital. 
another critical thing that's being done is assets that need to, to go through critical processes are being tracked through those processes to verify that those processes have been properly executed. The most common of those is a sterilization process. So if a particular item needs to be cleaned and go through an autoclave, its progress through those processes can be tracked automatically, and then you have a record that those processes have been completed. And then a final thing that comes to mind is that medical device manufacturers are using RFID to aid them in life cycle management. So many devices, the complex and expensive devices that are in hospitals, need engineering upgrades, whether they be hardware or software. Sometimes there, there are recalls on those devices that need to be implemented. And so the device manufacturers are tagging those products so that they can quickly be identified and you can determine very quickly what service procedures need to be performed on that particular device because it's all at the serial number level. So RFID has penetrated very deeply into healthcare and it's being used in a wide range of processes, both the way other businesses use RFID and in some ways that are unique to the healthcare service provision. Wow, pretty impressive. Are these systems HIPAA compliant or is that something that people need to worry about? The way most of the RFID systems are applied, there is no data about the patient on the tag. The tag is really just a license plate that allows you to follow a person or an item of inventory or a device where it goes. So there's nothing on there that in any way compromises the privacy of a patient or describes anything about their condition. So generally, there are no HIPAA implications for RFID. Now, it is possible that you could store information about a patient on a tag because it does have rewritable memory. It's just that it's not normally used that way. And in order to be HIPAA compliant, a lot of providers avoid doing it. So how does a hospital go about implementing an, a system like this? So this is sort of a complicated question because what you want to do with the system determines exactly how complicated or uncomplicated it is. If you want a real-time location system that is able to find the position of a given asset or object or person within an entire facility, obviously you're going to need infrastructure that covers that entire facility and is able to read an RFID tag throughout the facility. And that requires a lot of infrastructure. You have to have readers in a lot of different places, and you probably need an IT system that can handle the data traffic, and then you need some software that can pull all that together and present the information so that the users can benefit from it. But on the other hand, some RFID systems are extremely simple. All I want to do is a financial management task. I want to send an auditor in to ensure that certain assets are in certain places. Well, that person can simply carry a handheld RFID reader and point it at the objects he's trying to identify. And in that case, you don't need any system at all other than this one portable device that will read the tags that are on systems. Inventory systems can be a little complicated but oftentimes they're in single rooms. You know, you've got a supplies closet and you just want to track the stuff that's in there. So the physical system is actually quite small. It's a couple reader antennas and a single reader that's tied into your database. So the complexity can be hospital-wide, lots of devices, important communication infrastructure, and then complex software that handles all the information all the way down to I'm going to carry this little reader in my hand to be able to locate some specific assets that I want to locate at any given time. So there isn't a simple uh, one-size-fits-all answer to the question of how complicated the system has to be. Thank you very much, Ken. It's been great having you here, and I look forward to the next time. I appreciate your having me. It's always great to talk about RFID.